Whew. Just finished my Saturday morning training session. I usually train a client very early on a Saturday morning, but luckily I didn't have to have him this morning. So, well, I would have preferred to have trained him, but it meant I could have a little bit more of a lay in. So I got up a little bit later, about nine o'clock. I meant to get up earlier. I am guilty of staying up very late and working because it's very quiet during the middle of the night in our house. And then I try and get up early, but then my body sometimes just says, nope, you're not getting up. So I got up at around nine o'clock, went straight out for a run. It was about four and a half to five miles today then i've just trained and when i'm training and running i love listening to all sorts of songs varying from stevie wonder jesse j bit of country footloose that's good and during my training sessions i love listening to queen especially this song As always, I've got to put all the weights away, but it's a lovely sunny day. Then I'm going to be going into town for a coffee before I start my revision for the day. And in my previous video, thank you very much for the response I got. I picked the first two suggestions I got. Oh! oh! I'm not taking that out. You're going to be in that. They're going to love that as well, because I get most views of my four days of eating. Love you. <laughs> Shall I leave the weights out, love? Do you want me to leave the weights out? I picked the first two suggestions I got. The first one was from a guy called Sam. Thank you very much for giving it to me. And it's to try a sweet potato, but put in the middle two light baby bells. And the second suggestion, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, but it was to try Sour Patch Kids. Never tried them in my life, but I've got to go and buy them from Sainsbury's as I go into town to have a coffee with my grandparents and family. Enjoy the video, fam. As my little chocolate cereal to pick out of the day, I'm having some Tesco chocolate crisp. Not as good as the Audi version. And as I'm getting changed to go out for coffee, oh, I'm gonna have my four bits of Tesco value dark chocolate. You guys should already know that. We are both back. First thing to try on the menu are some Sour Patch Kids. I only originally thought you could get them from America. Eight sweets per serving, 78 calories. I'm wondering how sour they're gonna be. Do you want to try some now? Oh, no. Ooh, smell? Nice. No, no. Smells Are they really bad? I think that's just that hard. <laughs> gonna try two in one go. What are they looking like? You don't mind this being in, do you? No. Um. I'm sure it's coming a little bit. Not bad. Quite oh, nice. It's a love hate thing, you know? Hmm. Not bad, actually. It's not as bad as I thought. Wait, do you want to try another one? I'm going to try two orange on the right. You just make me wince. Oh. They kind of, um, mm, don't what they remind me of. Oh, we try six in one go. Oh, oh, no, I haven't. Ah, oh, huh. Hmm, they're not that bad. Well, overall, out of ten, I'd say a seven out of ten. What would you give it? Mm, six, seven. Oh, very good. Very good. Flavour wise, they're very good actually as well. You just want to say hello. Hello. <coughs> Those Sour Patch Kids in the end weren't actually that bad. Thank you very much for that request. The time as you can see is just past four o'clock and 
actually today I've kind of done a little bit of intermittent fasting. I did obviously have the chocolate and picked up the cereal earlier, but I didn't have those Sour Patch Kids till around half past three. And I went out and had a coffee with my grandparents and family. And that coffee actually really filled me up. It was from Costa, regular size, but the regular size is a huge. I'm just saying that if you take your mind off food and you do other things, keep yourself busy, but also have things like coffee, tea, drinks that are low calorie and that can fill up your stomach, you can stave off your hunger quite easily. Usually I would have a yogurt and snacker jacks snack a bit earlier on in the day around 12 but I was out so I'm combining it with the snack I would have about this time as well so this is a pretty big meal here I have got three caramel snacker jacks and under there I've got four chocolate chip snacker jacks then here I've got Sainsbury's plain corn thins then obviously eight bits of Tesco Valley dark chocolate as normal I do apologize that wasn't in focus for you guys there you go, it's in focus. Then just in the fridge over here, oh, we've got some new ones. I'm gonna have one of these Danone light Greek yogurts. It's about 50, 61 calories for the raspberry flavor. Not a particular fan of the peach and passion fruit flavor, but I'm just gonna have the raspberry flavor today. And what I do is I dip the plain rice cakes, well, the plain corn cakes, sorry, in with the Greek yogurt. It's actually a really nice, crunchy, but also has the wet element of the Greek yogurt. I'm not very good at my chefy language. And to top off this little tower, you have to come under here where we have our little snacker jack stash. And I'm gonna be having one of these. Let me just get one out. One packet of the Sainsbury's chocolate corn thins. If you're new to the channel, they're plain corn thins with a layer of chocolate on the top, 73 calories a piece, heaven in a corn cake. I'm gonna take this upstairs and do some revision for my big university nutrition exam, which is happening next Thursday. And by the way, after that exam next Thursday, when I've done it, I'm gonna be doing a lot more stuff with my YouTube channel and with my online personal training. Stay tuned and enjoy the rest of the video. Just been doing revision on nutraceuticals and the topic within nutraceuticals that i was revising was to do with fruit juice and drug interaction and potential risks to health and stuff lots of technical words now it's time to try my second food suggestion of that sweet potato and baby bell combination let's go if i do again this is beef bolty which includes beef onion red pepper and I've added some broccoli, beans and carrots from yesterday so they don't get wasted. And I shall serve it alongside brown rice and extra vegetables. And the naughty bit is the pishwari. With this meal, I've got 350 grams of sweet potato because usually at this time I'd have couscous chicken tikka slices topped off with Tesco Edam slices and then put ketchup with that as well and then top it off with some garlic salt. I might still put garlic salt with the sweet potato actually. But anyway, basically what I've done with this meal is that I've exchanged the couscous I normally have, about 120 grams, weighed out dry, which is 300 calories worth of couscous. I've exchanged that for sweet potato and the Baby Bell Light I was requested to have it with. I've taken the Tesco Edam cheese out and exchanged the Baby Bell Lights in. I cut the sweet potato in half, put them in the microwave for nine minutes to cook up. So the flesh is gonna be nice and soft in the middle. I've got two halves. I'm gonna put a Baby Bell Light on each one, then put the chicken tikka slices on the side with a nice little a pool of tomato ketchup and with the assistance of my camera woman i.e my mum i'm going to show you what it tastes like and give you my verdict you come that side because no, of all the mess of the well, only if you stand there tell me your back to that look no here what are you talking about what i don't want no your back to that so facing me yeah with your back to that that's it now i can't see it okay so that's the chicken ticker there. With the two baby bell lights melted in between the sweet potato thank you sam for suggesting this now i'm going to give it a live taste test Although I think it might have already hardened a bit after I melted it in the microwave. It was actually quite hard to melt. Um, it's not bad, but I have to say the sweet potato overpowers the cheese by a long shot. Hmm. <laughs> um, quite hard to get a bit of cheese on its own. It was nice cheese though. I think I might top it off with a bit of garlic salt, actually. Overall though, taste rating 6, 7 out of 10. Flavour, more like an 8 out of 10. Overall experience, 9 out of 10. Porridge at around mid 
night. I was meant to have it at around 11 p.m. But I just got a bit busy with work and with hanging out with my family. So at midnight, I have my porridge along with 25 grams of whey protein and 230 grams of mixed berries and the porridge I had 63 grams of. Sounds very precise with the porridge but I've always done that for some reason. And alongside that I had a snack of 10 bits of Tesco Valley dark chocolate, a little bit of Easter egg, 70 grams of Tesco chocolate cereal and one little pack of Sainsbury's corn thins where you get two corn thins in the pack which are covered in chocolate and it's 140 calories per mini pack. Had them and then now finally it's 3am lol and I'm having this. Here I've got 240 grams of a mixture of carrots and green beans. Here I've got 120 grams of diced beef from Sainsbury's that's been done in a little sauce that my mum did and then on the side I've got 230 grams of white potato and with that I'm going to have another two packs so four Sainsbury's chocolate corn things in total so two times 146 calories and then with that two chocolate snacker jacks in total my calorie intake for the day when I wrote down all the foods that I eat in a day my overall intake is around 3,925 to 3,975 calories a day bit of a window lots of food if you guys do have a suggestion of what you'd like me to eat my next full day of eating, please leave it in the comment section below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.